Spokane County still under a state of emergency following the two major wildfires that ripped through the inland northwest. The news has been good in the last 24 hours or so from the Gray Fires. Containment in Medical Lake is now up to 58% at last check, and all level three evacuations have been reduced. Our Marissa Rio is live in Medical Lake, and she's joined now by a fire information officer to bring us the very latest here on the Gray Fire. Yes, I'm here at Eastern State Hospital, the new command post for the Gray Fire, and I'm here with Shane Rossbach, the fire information officer for Northwest Team 7. Shane, we've seen downgraded evacuation levels and containment numbers go up. What was the progress like overnight? So as of this morning, we're at 58% contained. We're still holding at 10,016 acres for the fire. So that's really good overnight. Uh, crews continue to work out there. Um, we're starting to get a little warming trend in temperatures and you know, kind of dropping in that relative humidity. So that means any uh, heat that's still out there, any hot spots, um, those can potentially start to smoke again and, and increase in activity. So crews continue to, to utilize uh, infrared resources to try to locate those, those spots and uh, get those taken care of. Uh, um, utilities have been working really hard. Uh, Avista and Inland Power have restored most of their services to the homes that they can. Um, so that's a lot of really good progress in there. Um, and then going forward, we really want to encourage um, the community now that those evacuation levels have been lowered and folks are back in there to just continue to respect the uh, firefighting resources that are out there. There's a lot of them moving around, um, trying to take care of work, and uh, things are looking really good. And, you know, earlier this week we saw rainy weather and that helped the firefighters. Now the community is a little bit concerned about the higher temperatures that are coming. What does that mean for firefighters? So those higher temperatures, you know, it just means uh, fuels have easier ignition and everything. So with a large fire area like this, there's a, there's a lot of spots that, uh, you know, interior too, that uh, may not have burned completely. So we can see those flare up. So it's really getting out there and making sure that, you know, all the perimeters of structures are completely cold and, and all that. So, you know, with those increased temperatures and all that, that does increase, you know, risk of a fire potential. So. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate your time and thank you for the work that you guys have been doing. Thank you. As soon as any new information becomes available, we will be giving it to you. Reporting in Medical Lake, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.